Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, TGIF. It's your guy, Dave Neal. And we've got a official relationship report. Breaking news. Dale and Claire on the grid. Let's jump right into this. They've returned from their Hawaiian vacation. And you know, we go on vacation, you find some new love, you put on the stupid, look at these stupid outfits. You know what I mean? You got to put on these little lays. I hope they did some laying. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? They're a fit. So there they are. They're, uh, this is the first post that they made to their grid. You know what? In, uh, in uh, response to their uh, Hawaiian vacation and our uh, intro into the summer, let's play some Hawaiian music for this video. Why don't we? So get out there, put on a lay, have a Mai Tai, just relax. Is Mai Tai Hawaiian? Oh boy. All right, trying my best with the information I have, which isn't too much. All right, so let's just go down these tabs here. Of course, uh, let's start with the Reddit post because Reddit uh, provides us a good baseline for uh, thoughts and opinions. <laughs> than Bachelor Nation. Dale posted a picture with Claire on Instagram. Now, why is this a big deal? You say, this shouldn't be a big deal. Who cares? Well, it is a big deal that they have sort of decided their relationship is solid enough that they're going to start sharing it together. They obviously broke up in epic fashion. He uh, announced his breakup with her uh, before she was willing to do that. Pulled a Peter. <laughs> Pulled a Peter Weber. Actually, technically, he did it before Peter. He's like the hipster of breaking up. He does it before. It's cool. He posts something on Instagram. He even signed it. Everyone made fun of him. He signed it as if he was the uh, Thomas Jefferson. Listen, bro, this ain't the Declaration of Independence. You just dumped a blonde, all right? <laughs> and just signed it. He stamped it with a wax seal. So then they broke up, and she was like, news to me. I didn't know we broke up. Chances are they got in a fight. She's like, I'm over you. I'm done. And he's like, all right, I'll start drafting the letter. And then she's like, no, 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 no. When I say I'm over, when I say I'm done, that means let's take a few minutes and let's uh, let uh, cooler minds prevail. Every guy who's been dumped before by their current uh, partner knows that's what happens. You know what I mean? I've gotten dumped three times before brunch. And it's like, just give her some food, let her get a clear mind, and then maybe we'll be back at it. All right, folks. All right. Not to say that men can't dump women. It's a whole counter-dependent thing. I think Claire's counter-dependent. I think that's part of her anxiety issues. I'm not a shrink. Uh, speaking of shrinking, though, I might go in the water this uh, Memorial Day weekend. A little chilly here on the Pacific Ocean, but what can you do? Uh, yeah, all right, so let's dive right into it. Let's see what people have said. I like to sort by best, and that uh, helps me find the, the content that had the most traffic. But he didn't, oh, look at this. I, I promise I didn't look at this already. But he didn't put his signature anywhere. Is he really happy? That's funny. Someone in the comments said they must not actually be back together because Dale didn't sign the post and it made me laugh so hard. I guess we're all on the same page with this humor. Um, do I think they're end game? No. Do I hope they're happy right now? Absolutely. Well, you know, what do we know? What do we know, right? We're just rooting people on. What do we, we don't know. Maybe they make it, maybe they don't. Maybe they have a kid and then they don't make it and the kid grows up with, you know, cool parent. Who knows? Their, their breakup was super cringe, but I really hope they are happy and taking things slower, getting on the same page. I hope it works out for Clara. They seem much happier this time around. Yeah, well, they have the, war, the, the weight of the world off their shoulder. You know, it's, it's not oh, every day you make things uh, Instagram official, but also on the grid is Matt James and Rachel Kirk Connell. Of course, this thumbnail, we have Emmanuel Acho saying, proud of y'all. They posted a photo, uh, 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 Matt posted a photo to his grid. This is a big deal for all those people like me, old millennials and boomers and all. This is a big deal. You posted it on the grid. You know, not to say you can't delete it afterwards, but it's a big deal. He posts it, she shares it, and of course they're promoting their charity. So it is a big deal. Now, Justin takes the batch. One of my favorite people in Bachelor Nation. Why, you say? Because he likes me back. And that's, that's what you want in a friendship. Just someone who... You know, game respecting game. And I think we both, uh, I think we're both gearing up and getting ready to uh, to do another season of Bachelorette. Looking at you, Katie Thurston. Uh, we're thirsty for Thurston. So Justin said, and by the way, give Justin a follow over there in New York. He's got a nice original perspective on everything Bachelor Nation. He's not, um, he's not uh, tainted goods because he's not part of the show, like an alumni. You know, those dang alumni. They're always, they, they, they can't be critical, but we like, uh, we like Justin Snark. All right. Claire and Dale's first grid post together. Post breakup, I'm so filled with hope. Is this really happening? Positive vibes only. 
And then um, I said, uh, we, d uh, we, d we need detective jackets. So if anyone wants to Photoshop Justin and myself as, um, as Sherlock Holmes and the other guy, I don't care which one. What's the other guy's name? Sherlock Holmes? What a, you know what I mean? Watson. That's it. Watson. I don't know. I don't know if I'm Sherlock or if I'm Watson. Which one's Justin? Either way, we're out there fighting the crimes, figuring out the dirt on the Bachelor news. We got a coalition. We're the Avengers, baby. Um, he and J Justin's probably like, no, Dave, you're just kind of creepy, but we'll go with it. Either way, we're here. Dale says, uh, so this is Dale's original post. He says, this makes me happy. And then it's a bunch of comments from people with verified Instagrams. The only thing I want out of life, like I can't wait for the times when I can post something and it's mainly verified people. No offense to you plebeians out there. Those are Roman commoners for the uh, for those uh, that didn't study uh, Roman history. But, um, you know, like, look, there's a little bit of clout and uh, prestige there when you get a couple check marks. But us, us riffraff... Don't have the right PR people looking at you, Lori K. We don't have the right PR people to make that happen. Um, I will be sharing a story, something very interesting, with Jason Tartik on his uh, podcast, Trading Secrets, was talking with a CEO of an influencer company. And um, Jason, if you, if you watch my earlier video, uh, let me see if I can pull up uh, where it was. I'm not going to pull the actual video up. But if you watch my earlier video of Jason Tartik and Dean, it was very fascinating um, seeing, how do I, how do I show the, all of them? It was very fascinating seeing them talk about Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, I, I, I highly suggest watching this. Dean was offered $400 a day to do Bachelor in Paradise. He negotiated that to 800. They settled at 600 a day, which isn't much. And I know people say, wow, it must be nice. You don't think $600 a day is a lot. We're talking about one of the biggest TV shows in the world and he's getting paid $600 to show up and potentially have his, uh, you know, you know, get wasted and say something he regrets later on. I mean, you're playing with fire by all means and he's going to get burned. And uh, that $600 a day isn't going to go too far with our healthcare system in the U.S. You know what I'm talking about. Looking at you, Canadians. We get it, Netherlands. You got health insurance. So cool. You're going to need it for those wooden clogs you're walking around and blisters everywhere. What are we even talking about? It's called digressing, folks. Look it up. So Dean and, Dean and Jason, a very fascinating conversation about how much they were offered to become The Bachelor. I didn't even know Dean was offered The Bachelor. They offered it to Dean... Um, they offered it to Blake Horstman and they offered it to someone else from that group. I can't remember who, uh, you got to watch the video to find out. But, um, of course I think they offer it to multiple people just in case, you know, I don't know. One person has a herpes outbreak, whatever the case may be, they need to bring in a say, you know, a backup. Uh, but anyhow, folks, uh, um, they were talking about influencer deals and, uh, you know, uh, celebrities offering, you know, publicists like hundred thousand dollars to get themselves verified which is insane you know but that's the game that's the stupid game of instagram and i am unverified maybe you know what maybe i'll stay unverified just to play it cool you know what i mean but anyway speaking of um of verified people dale moss over here you know post a good photo with uh claire crowley but let but let me get speaking of uh sherlock holmes let me get the detective that that's as far as it'll let me zoom but I'm pretty sure. Leave a comment, guys. Is this the Neil Lane ring? Now, this is on her ring finger. We have that here. And she's, I don't think, trying to hide it. But, boy, our sass, sass to the extreme, these two. And I have to say, we appreciate the mind, the body, and the soul. This, this photo, there's a lot of soul to appreciate. Uh, Claire is transcending... Uh, what we thought her to be. She's, uh, someone posted this, uh, someone said this in a comment the other day. They said, you know what? Claire was a bad lead, but she's not a bad person. And that may be the case. Maybe she's, you know, maybe her personality type anxiety made her not to be, not out to be like the best lead for the show, but she seems like a great person within the realm that she works, which is probably not having a crew of men staring at her every decision. And every morning she's got to worry about her hair and this and that. And did the guy kiss me? Is, you know, Yosef in my shot? You know, whatever the case may be, it doesn't make her a bad person. It means she probably just had her limbic system flared from the experience. Uh, and it's important to know that. Uh, but anyway, she's looking great here. And we're, uh, we're happy to have her in the family, of course. And, and you know, good for her, good for Dale. They seem to have a lot of, you know, qualities they're bringing to the relationship. Uh, speaking of bringing qualities to the relationship, look what happened yesterday on my live stream. I just randomly was talking about Tasha's Poshmark. Tasha's my fiance, if you're new to the channel. And this is her Instagram here. But yeah, she posted a nice photo here of uh, 
our trip to Thailand when I proposed. I took, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I took the vaccine and I got a black lung now. <coughs> I'm kidding. Get the vaccine. So uh, I po- I took this photo and my only goal was to not drop the camera on her head. But this was a nice little, um, we- oh man, we were so lucky uh, to get this place called Suko Samui in Koh Samui. The, 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 we did a little partnership brand deal with them. Look how amazing. This is an infinity pool they gave us last year. I w- th- we, we went like um, like a, like two or three months before the pandemic hit, and we were actually in like bat caves in Thailand. And this is us. Tasha made me post this photo. I was actually really sick that day. I thought I had to go to the hospital because um, it was something I ate. I don't know. I was feeling re- like, a, like really sick, like I could barely stand up. But we, we had to get these photos, so we put the camera on a tripod, shot with the, uh, the Canon G7X, and um, isn't this a beautiful location we had uh, on the boat there? And of course, that's the pool. I didn't get a good shot of the infinity pool. I guess, I guess that's the best you're going to get, and that's the bay over there in Koh Samui. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, uh, the why am I showing you guys this? Oh, uh, look, and these are these are the other people's Instagrams. I mean, isn't this the most beautiful location? I'm kind of jealous. When we went there, they didn't have the floating this little floating thing. Which don't you hate? This is this is what I hate about uh, you know Tasha being an influencer is I understand that there's a guy who's hungry and he just wants to eat that croissant and she's like, babe, we got to get the floating shot and he's like, I want a slice of watermelon, you know what I mean? Like that's what you don't understand when this shot's being taken, what's going on. But this beautiful, the doors open up like this. I'm not saying this to promote it, but if you are ever in Thailand, you got to go to Koh Samui and go to Suko Samui. It's this really nice French man uh, who, who had designed and built this whole setup himself. So it's so, oh, this is it. Yeah, isn't that great? Anyway, this is just a little, uh, some nice vibes for you guys here. Uh, but we were so lucky to go there. And because of that story, Tasha actually got featured in American Express for her vlog. So proud of her. So um, let's go to... Uh Tasha's Instagram. I wanted to show you her Poshmark. There, it, I know what you're thinking, Dave. What the hell are we watching? What's the point of all this? Well, we're just kind of uh, we're just kind of having a casual Friday here at the point at this point. Now we're happy for Dale, Claire, and uh, Matt and Rachel. But um, let's go back to Tasha here. So she, so I mentioned Tasha's Poshmark as not a joke, but I've been talking about it. She's got this, you know, all this clothes that she's got from her modeling days and influencing and all this. So she's selling them on Poshmark, which is. Her, uh, you know, which is like a, uh, it's like a pawn shop for clothing, you know, you know, gently worn consignment, you know, whatever it may be. So we post about it and check this out. See, look, let me, let me turn this um, audio down here. Check out what happens. By the way, that's, yeah, that's the, uh, by the way, I took this photo and Tasha was like, oh, this photo's gonna look so stupid. And then I took it and, you know, hmm, featured in American Express, no big deal. So uh, let's go to um, this right here. This is. Uh, what happened on Poshmark uh, yesterday after my live stream. Hold on one second. I'm trying to turn down this uh, background music here. All right, here we go. So this is Tasha. Are you guys shopping my Poshmark? have totally made my morning because I woke up to two more. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. many boxes. That's right, your boy QVC Dave. <laughs> That's right, the prince of uh, Poshmark. <laughs> QVC Dave. By the way, I love how we were just talking in the other video about not using uh, r- ridiculous filters, but here we are. Tasha's got this filter on. What is this? There's like sh- uh, glitter shimmering. It's like, Tasha, you're beautiful. You don't need the filter. You don't need the filter, Tasha. Come on. What are you doing? Uh, of course, if you want to see more about our experiences and what we've been up to, we got uh, this is our new backyard which we finally had, we put together this backyard and AstroTurf and Chase lounges and the nighttime lights. And it's, it's looking great. We're really, we're just happy to be alive folks. And it's really thanks to your commitment to the channel and, and for all of the help you guys have given us. Um, we actually did a shoot. You know, what's funny is this never really, this, this was never a big deal, but we actually did a shoot for Royal Caribbean several years ago. And we got to go to all these cool places like the Mayan ruins and uh, we'll have to we'll have to share some more photos of that experience. Tasha got Tasha and I got to swim with whale sharks, which was really cool. But um, anyway, you can go support Tasha over there as we're talking about Instagram because that's what we do. And by the way, if anybody's still listening and you're and you're in Los Angeles or anywhere in Southern California and you have a pool for Tasha and I to go to this weekend, please let us know. We lo- oh look at that, jeez, it's getting spicy. This was um this is when right before quarantine hit. Yeah boy, get it in. Come on, what are you doing? 
You know what I mean? All right, folks. Well, that's that. And if you want, I know I'm promoting a lot here. If you want, I have a vlog up on my vlog channel. Let me tell you guys something. Let me just search Dave Neal. If you search Dave Neal vlogs or go to the... Li- oh, I didn't, I didn't even spell it right. Let's see if... Oh, we still got there. We still got there. So I shot this video. Um, I shot this video a week before the pandemic hit. And the idea is don't rent out your time. And we talk about building equity in ourselves and how we need to invest in ourselves and other companies. You know, it's not, you know, uh, you can't truly pursue what you want to do with with creative freedom if you're working for somebody else. And it doesn't mean like quit your job or this or that, but it means start start today, start this weekend, start this summer, building equity in your own company, in your own blog, in your own YouTube channel, whatever it is you want to do. So I re-released this video on my, on my uh, YouTube vlog channel. But the irony is I made this video a week before the pandemic hit. I had no idea what was about to come. And then of course, by the end of the pandemic, my channel went from 2000 to 32,000 subscribers. And maybe by the time someone's watching this in the future, 100,000, a million, who knows? The point is, is that if you build it, they will come. Keep working towards your dreams and people will show up to support them as long as you lead with authenticity, love, high vibrancy energy. Do what you got to do, folks. Get out there and do what you got to do. I want to thank you all for all of your support. I don't know if there's going to be any more videos today. I'm not really sure what's on the content schedule. I am around town, um, but it is Memorial Day weekend. So go check out the vlog channel. I'll be posting some old vlogs this weekend if you want to binge those. We will will be getting monetized this weekend on the vlog channel. We finally hit the 4,000 watch hours. I thank you guys so much for all of that. And have a good weekend and let me know where that pool party's at. I'm, I'm bringing pool floaties. You're, you know, I want to get that big uh, donut floaty that I can drink a Mai Tai in. Oh, we're living life. Bye, everybody.